guys. As promised, I decided to do a bit of a quick Christmas haul for you all before I start decorating the house. And as you can see, I have my tree up. Um, at the moment, we use a fake Christmas tree purely because sprogs are quite young and stabby needles in small children isn't pleasant. So the tree has been put up. Um, I'm going to go through a quick description as to what's been going on. What's what's bleh. Let's try that again. What's going to be going on in the house this year, decorations wise, how I do things, might give yourself some ideas or it might spark some inspiration or it could be completely irrelevant. But I promised and I shall deliver. So, um, just thinking, first up, I suppose I should start with the tracing as it's there. Um, I usually do it with the kids um, at some point within the first week of uh, December in the run up to the whole Christmas advent thing. Um, so more than likely we'll be doing it tomorrow. I always put it up and put the lights in before the kids get involved because it's obviously quite stressful, um, which is a, a kind of like, after my first Christmas and it all went horribly wrong, I never again did I do that bit whilst the kids were up. So usually I wait till they're in bed, like just now, and put it in. Something that I found was a nice little trick as well is when you're trimming the lights on it, is I tend to put them right deep inside next to the kind of center base this works on real trees as well and it shines the light through the uh, the branches and things rather than having them out on the surface which is fine but I mean small hands don't grab them and it gives you a kind of a tw nice twinkly effect I also tend to use blue lights rather than white lights just because I think it gives a slightly nicer look but again it comes down to personal preference um, I mix a kind of a set of the typical plastic Christmas baubles. Usually, at the moment, I think I have a mix of gold and red ones of different styles. But what I also started to do is, through, to make it a little bit more interesting, is I put in some kind of individual kind of ornament type things. So we've got some really cute ones, um, which is kind of part of the kids, like and things that the kids liked, stuff that they've been making at school and nursery, which... Because uh, I remember as a kid, my mom kept all the stuff that we made at school, no matter what happened to it or how kind of interesting it looked. Um, and we always really liked it. We liked having, oh, look, this is the thing that I made, whatever it was. And it's a nice little thing that I like to do. Um, but I think there's also some slightly less kind of like kiddie related ones. She says it has a scarf. Um, but there is kind of more traditional let's see if I can find them. Um, traditional type things and we have a star for the top of ours as well um, and usually uh, we usually invite a friend or someone over to who gets to be part of the whole like, tree trimming thing um, with us which is also pretty cool um, moving on to the rest of the home <laughs> what we're doing this year is because not that I can show you but we've got this kind of like um, it's not like a typical TV shelf type thing, but what all the kind of digital stuff is on um, has a flat, like laminate, almost kind of laminate wood surface thing. So what I've decided to do this year is to take our various stockings, um, and I've actually bought this cheap pack of suction cups, so I don't have to nail them up or. Um, like stick it up and it keeps falling down and I can just leave them there for the whole of December and then they get filled which is great. I did check the other surface, like any other surfaces to see if it would stick on it. Anything that's like a smooth laminate or metal surface, um, it works on. Things like walls, as in like interior walls or ceilings and cornices and stuff like that does not stick. So I double checked that just in case, um, but it doesn't. It only really works on the really smooth, um, kind of almost plasticky or metal surfaces. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing there as well. For around the home, like so the main kind of decoration around the house. Um, previous years we've had the typical kind of garlands and stuff like that. The foil stuff that if anyone's whoever's used it, it never lasts. It always tears or the weight of it pulls it down. They're never particularly well thought out, I've found. So what I'm going to do this year is something a little bit different. And anyone that's going to be in and around Edinburgh, the store... Uh, uh, and stuff like that then they will have already seen it because I trial ran it at the store um, so what I'm going to be doing is from the ceiling um, I'm going to hang 
various things. So what I did is I went to the local pound stretcher and I got the, the giant baubles that you can get, which are obviously pretty fun. I got a, a bunch of different colours, like a nice little variety, things that looked good together. And they're quite heavy, so I'm going to have to be very careful with how I stick these up. Um, I think it's going to be like super duper clear tape going on here. Um, so they're going to be hanging at various points. Obviously, I'm the the ones that I've had like that I've hung previously um, in other places. I usually put them on a nice piece of ribbon, but our ceilings are really low in this house, and so uh, I might be quite short. Other people are not so short, and they would end up bashing their heads off them. And I'm kind of trying to avoid hurting people at Christmas. Uh, so they're just going to be on the the things that they come with, the little bit of uh, string thing. In between that, because obviously I didn't want to cover the whole ceiling in giant baubles, I thought that would be a little bit excessive. So in between that, I picked up these kind of like glittery, I don't know if you can see if it's, the light's catching the plastic, glittery kind of snow white sparkly uh, stars, which I thought would be quite nice. Um, kind of sprinkled in between, similar sort of thing, just hanging on the, the ribbon, that it, uh, the string thing that it comes in. Um, but I thought that rather than having loads and loads of tinsel or garlands hanging from the, the various corners of the room and stuff, that that would be a nice, um, kind of look really pretty but be relatively minimal, um, which meant putting up and taking down was quite simple. Um, I got, because I can't, can't not have one, I got the typical Merry Christmas garland. Um, I, it's one of the ones that you buy it so all the letters are cut sorry all the letters are cut out uh you just need to string them all together and i think the original design for the one that i bought was to have mary on one lot of ribbon and christmas on the other because of pictures i already have hung up i decided to just make it all in a long piece of ribbon but it's felt um which i thought was just a kind of like an added homey difference um for the type of thing that i'm doing here on top of that what else have we got um, that's kind of, there's not an awful lot left actually, because I'm keeping it relatively simple this year. A few little extra things. I've actually already stuck it up in the girls' room this evening. But you know the gel de decoration things that stick on windows? Just little gummy scenes usually. Um, we had, we picked a Santa one, and so I did that with the girls earlier before going to bed. Um, so that's up on their window at the moment. And the great thing is they peel off and they don't leave any marks on the window. Unlike sometimes the spray snow that doesn't come off or the vinyl stickers that sometimes leave the shape of whatever it was on the window. These ones don't, so they're quite fun. As per usual, I'm quite a candle-y person. I like scented candles and things. So I got um, an array of uh, fun um, like little tea light holders. So I've got a little uh, snowman here. I have my Christmas pudding and a little tree one as well. And they didn't cost a lot. They only cost me one pound because they came out of the pound store. So that's quite cool as well. And I think for the moment that that... Oh no, wait, I almost forgot. I also grabbed while I was there um, the countdown to Christmas, which is going to go up in the hall for the kids. Because, I mean, we're still going to have like the advent calendars and things. But uh, my eldest is at an age where she's constantly asking me how many days, how many days until various events, not just Christmas, but anything major that's going on um, in the household, birthday parties or visits and things like that. And trying to show her on, because we've got a family planner, and trying to show her on that, it, it's not quite... Um, she doesn't quite get it, so I got this one because it came with the chalk and stuff, and she, like you know, they can just mark it off as you go, and she can really see a countdown, um, which I thought was uh, kind of sweet. So this is all that I have at the moment. This is where I'm going to start from. There's a chance that we will do more homemade things with me and the kids, which obviously I probably will end up showing you guys. <coughs> Excuse me. There'll be still be a ton of baking stuff that I'm going to do because Christmas baking starts pretty much as of tomorrow or like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday type thing. So that will be coming as well. Um, I have a few other things. One thing that I did want to quickly add that I was discussing is uh, in the, I'll put a link in the bottom as well, in the previous video that I did, which was the cocktail Christmas baubles, um, I let Bear, like I let Bear taste them as well. Um, and more than just taste, he actually had, like he actually had tried to drink one of them and ended up having quite bad stomach pain. I tried to drink one 
um, to see whether or not it was just like some random fluke and I got stomach pain before I even got to the end of the bobble. So I don't know if that's something that should be taken into consideration. It could be that I don't drink an awful lot and maybe cocktails aren't for me um, and I've had this terrible reaction or it could be that there is just something in it that could cause an issue. A friend of mine did give some to um, his sister and I'm going to check in with him at some point to see whether or not she's drank hers and whether if she was fine. If she was fine it's probably me and my lack of drinking um, and I will report back and do a kind of um, catch up type um, video just to to finalise the final um, kind of review of the whole thing. Uh, so thank you for joining me and I shall see you all real soon. Bye.